were told these things on a day-to-day -day basis, um, not only by peers at school, but her friends and family at home. Um, although they were um, maybe just trying to help her lose weight, um, ultimately um, they wouldn't do anything about it. They, every day they would buy junk food, there's always junk food in the house, and um, there was always a stash of sweets that she would go at every day. Um, this teasing not only made her eat more, but also made her go into depres depression, which made her eat more as well. Um, and by the time she was age 10, she weighed 140 pounds. Although ultimately her parents were just trying to help her lose weight, um, they were the ultimate reason why she had such a severe obesity at such a young age. And today I'm here to present my thesis at why bad parenting is the cause of childhood obesity. So first some history. Um, of the definition of obesity is eating more calories than you spend in a day. Um, and in the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, they found that about 70% or 2.5 million children are obese today. Um, and this is a map from the New England Journal of Medicine from 2011, um, showing you just the rates of childhood obesity. Um, so in the 17th and 18th centuries, uh, they had the first scientific um, discoveries and breakthroughs in, to ultimately uh, understanding obesity. And in the 19th century, um, they had more publications. Um, th for example, the book, this book by William Ward was the first of its kind to describe obesity as an issue and concern to the public. And in the 19th century is also when the first low-carb diet was introduced. So, and in the 20 and 21st century is really when scientific discoveries skyrocketed. Um, for example, in the 1920s is when they started doing things about uh, insulin and treating um, a diabetes. And in the 1950s, California was the first state to make um, PE programs uh, mandatory in public schools. Um, and in the 21st century is when we started relating um, uh, the obesity and health issues, but also losing weight and um, reversing those issues. So nutritional, nutritionalists have found that um, a child develops a certain taste for certain types of foods at a very young age. One of these nutritionists is Samantha Howler, and she says that when you feed a child, an infant or toddler, um, french fries, hamburgers, and fast food at a very young age, they will ultimately develop a taste for these types of foods. So what a, a parent can do is to encourage healthy, healthy eating habits, and only offer healthy eating foods in a positive manner. In this way, the kid will associate those healthy foods with good feelings and um, ultimately desire to eat these foods instead. Um, okay, so parent lifestyle. Parents. If a parent is not uh, healthy and active in their lifestyle, they ultimately cannot um, expect their children to. Uh, Danielle Elstead and Linda McCarger say that physical activity patterns are also determined at a very young age. Um, and a study in Australia done in 2013 found that um, par parents with clear household rules had thinner kids than households that didn't really have so many rules. So parents. Um, can incorporate this by uh, limiting TV time or uh, joining their kids in a sports team. Okay, so some opponents claim that fast food availability is, is the reason for childhood obesity. Um, David Ludwig is one of these, and he says that the fact that the availability of fast food is the reason why um, more children have become obese. But again, Danley Alstead and Linda McCarger um, that parents are the ones who ultimately determine what foods the child eats. So if the parents um, do not feed their children fast food, they won't have a preference for these types of foods. Um, others claim that school lunches are the reason for childhood obesity. Dr. Kim Eagle states that um, parents, oh, sorry, that most school lunches are very unhealthy because ultimately it's cheaper. 
Um, however, uh, parents are going to control what foods their child eats. And again, if given healthy choose foods at home, they will ultimately choose um, healthy, healthy, healthier foods uh, at school. And the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act, which is a law that was signed in December of 2011, um, give it a, they made a, a regulation and guidelines on school lunches. Um, other opponents claim that media and advertising um, is a cause of childhood obesity. And Michelle Obama says that fast food companies should realize that marketing health food could be beneficial. However, the Early Childhood Education Journal states that, if, that um, a young child has not been influenced by these dieting attempts di uh, and media. And um, if parents do not introduce these factors to their children, they will be ignorant to them. Um, and and in conclusion, um, although childhood obesity is an, an epidemic that is growing increasingly, and um, although many factors do play into the cause of childhood obesity, it's ultimately parenting that controls these factors. And if parents are informed correctly, they can prevent this from happening.